Aquarius, welcome back to your reading for today. Long time no see, I missed you. I've been doing generals. And thank you guys for staying subscribed and following me still. I am your spiritual guide and I'm also an empath and a light worker. And I thank you guys for being here with me. Let's see what's going on. Welcome to our place of love, light, and positive energy. All right, Spirit, show me clear messages from my Aquarius, my praise partners. What's going on, y'all? Talk to me in the comments if you're not afraid. I hope you had a beautiful Christmas. All right, and let's see what Spirit has for you. For my Aquarius, Spirit, show Aquarius clear messages, please. Thank you for blocking and bonding on negativity, witchcraft, wickedness, and anything that may be coming up against our lives or this channel. Thank you for giving me clear messages for Aquarius of truth, love, and light. What does Aquarius need to know? Whoa. Aquarius, you've been talking a lot. <laughs> you've been telling somebody something. I don't know. Some of you have been telling it like it is. What you been talking about? A lot of cards just spewed out on the table like you told somebody something. Let's see. <laughs> Sorry about that. Let's get the camera right. All right. So, for my Aquarius, let's see what's here. First of all, reflect on your priorities. I feel like you need to get your priorities in line. Maybe something is calling for your attention. Okay, but Spirit is telling you to reflect on your priorities. Last quarter moon in Aquarius. So, um, these last couple months, I mean, these last couple days in the year, last few days, get your things in line. Okay, figure out exactly what you want to come in for your new year. I feel like you should focus on that. Some of you have to work on forgiving someone. Some of your somebody in your energy is calling for you to forgive them. And you're trying to forgive someone here. All right. And you're trying to look into your heart to release the, the, the negative energy that comes along with resentment. All right. So let's see. Go for it. So spirit, new moon and airy spirit is telling you to go for it. Be fiery. Be bold. Don't let anybody stop you. So this is spirit telling you to take a page out of Aries book. Okay. Um, and be bold and fiery about what you need to do. And don't let things stop you and slow you down. Get rid of that stagnant energy and go ahead and put your priorities in place. All right. New year, new you, honey. You got a lot of things coming towards you for this new year. All right. New moon and Taurus. Know your worth. Okay. So one thing Taurus is always will always be is confident. So um, Aquarius, Spirit is telling you to know your worth. Stand ten toes down on what you believe and what you know will make you happy. And don't continue to change for people. Don't let people change you or your mind. And I hear you saying, huh, they're not. <laughs> That's right. Stand in your power. Stand firm in your power. You gain more respect that way. All right. Then what's hidden? Focus on the positive. New moon and Sagittarius, the optimist, okay? So it's time for you to come into this new energy. A lot of you are changing your mind. You're like, no, I'm going to be positive. I'm not going to let things get me down. I'm going to focus. You're um, becoming more optimistic about your future and what's coming up this upcoming year. You have a lot of beautiful things in store. And I feel like you're going at it head on with this Leo energy. Like, yeah, the king of the jungle type energy. All right, male or female, you're going after what you believe to be yours, okay? Underneath the bottom of the deck, and you're forgiving. You're letting go of a lot of things that cause your emotional baggage and trauma. So I feel like this is the year for you. You're working on letting these things go. You're like, I mastered this, I did that, now I need to do this. So I feel that very strongly. I also feel somebody in your energy that is looking to you for advice. I mean, I feel a lot of people pulling on you for your advice and your wisdom. I don't know if you're in some type of leadership role right now where you're overseeing things, but I feel like somebody is definitely pulling at your energy, trying to get your advice. I don't know what my cat just did. Hold on one second, Aquarius. Okay, and so that's what we're working with here. So let's go ahead and see what Spirit wants to tell you. For Aquarius, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors, and Spirit Guides, this feather just appeared in my house. So I'm keeping it. <laughs> it's a sign that my angels are with me, so I'm keeping it. Let's see. Okay, so we have abundant celebration, so reflect on your priorities. I feel like you have something good coming towards you. Some type of homecoming, some type of party. It's going to be something really, really big. And I feel like you're trying to get things in order for it now. Um, you are a planner. like So you like to plan for things ahead of time. You don't like surprises. Um, unless they're good surprises. I mean, I feel like you are working on this thing. There's something big coming. Um, 
projections and reflections. So I feel like somebody could be projecting negative energy towards you or just this is you working on your shadow side. I feel like this is you working on your self-confidence. I feel like it's, you have to work really hard for the people around you projecting negative energy. I feel like sometimes people don't understand you. Um, and some of you are pretty peculiar people. So I feel like you have to work that much harder to make sure that you stay in a positive mind frame and believe in yourself and continue to push yourself. All right. And you're doing good at that. You got this abundance coming in. Spirit is going to be looking out for you. Okay. For having that um, leadership type energy and helping people. You're always helping someone. All right. And you don't mind. You're very kind hearted and caring. Okay. Um, go for it when it comes to this toxic patterns and habits. I feel like, see, this is coming out a lot because a lot of people are releasing Trying to prepare for the new year. All right, getting ready. And this celebration card and this toxic habits, bound patterns, I feel like you're releasing it. Um, go for it is here. So I feel like you're thinking about letting it go and you should go. I mean, you should let it go. Some of you are getting your priorities in line and you're releasing this toxic way of thinking or living. And there's no judgment here, but whatever this thing is for you, I see you releasing it. All right, new moon in Taurus, know your worth. So I feel like limitations are here and fears. I feel like something has you fearful, afraid to move forward, or maybe feeling like you can't do it. Somebody's not feeling in their best energy about themselves at the moment. But this will pass, okay? Spirit is telling you to believe in yourself and go ahead and walk out on faith and step out on faith and try that thing that you're thinking about trying is going to work for you, okay? Use your gifts, your skills of logic, um, and tactfulness, all right, decency and order, and use these things, justice, to come in um, alignment, I mean, to make things come in alignment for you, all right, and then we have focus on the positive, absolutely, and that's what we're talking about here, you being more optimistic about your life and what you're able to do, um, you two can be rich, you can have the life you want, you can have the husband or the wife you want, okay, there's no boundaries unless you say it is, Focus on the positive. So focus on family and commitment, okay? You could be guarded and distant toward people that's trying to interfere in, in your energy when it comes to home and family. I feel like you're trying to focus. So when it comes to these toxic situations and habits and all this, these things, you're trying to get your priorities in line. So I feel you guys are rejecting this energy. I really feel like this is you rejecting this energy. And you're like, no, I need to think about my family. I need to think about what's coming toward me forgive for some of you you might be closed off to some of your family members aquarius because some of them don't treat you right some of them don't come from a place of love and you can see right through their bs and you're not gonna ignore it okay so you're closed off to some of these relatives that don't know how to treat you and that's just period okay then we have forgive here so i feel like when there's um i feel like somebody is regretting something here and I feel like there's a need for something to be forgiven. When it comes to that, I feel like seeds are going to be planted in the springtime. So I feel like there is going to be some type of forgiveness or coming together or working something out with someone in the springtime. Okay. Let's go ahead and move forward, Aquarius. Let's get the tarot and see what spirit wants you to know. Okay. Let's see some more on this forgiveness first. Why is forgiveness here for Aquarius here? Show Aquarius why forgiveness is here. Also got go for it. What is go for it here for? It fell. Oh, love is coming. Surprise invitation or meeting hesitation. So with this go for it, whatever it is that you're hesitating, whatever it is that you feel like you're not going to be good enough to do or it might not work out for you, Spirit is saying go for it. Give it a chance and watch me work in your favor. All right. And then for this focus on the positive, why is that here for Aquarius? Something about twin flames, a union, complimenting each other. When it comes to this twin flame um, journey and somebody in your life to teach you a lesson, Spirit is saying focus on yourself. All right? Just focus on yourself or focus on the positive um, aspects of that connection. Because you're learning lessons here, okay? Both of you are. That's for somebody. Limitations and fears. I feel like for some of you, it's a family member. Whoa. See, you've been talking about this. I knew it. So you're talking about something with somebody here. Something about somebody, um, yeah. You're talking about how somebody backstabbed you. Somebody was sneaky. 
And I see girl talk here or God talk. You're getting with people talking about what happened. This could be that family. Um, pretty soon you're going to be, um, I feel like stability is here, security and growth. And that's very important to you. But first, some issues need to be resolved in this dynamic with family. All right. While you're separated from them, they're, you're separated from them because somebody was malicious. Somebody was backstabbing and somebody did something that was unfavorable. And I feel like some of you guys are talking about it. This could be girls or guys talking. There is no guy talk card. So it could be either or, either sex, talking to somebody, venting. You see how the cards exploded out? I feel like that's because somebody betrayed you. Yeah. Somebody could be thinking negatively about you with this reflection and projection card. Also, I'm getting the energy of somebody here trying to make you stay in the past or relive the past or whatever you did in the past that may have been not favorable or something like that. Somebody keeps trying to hold that over your head. And you're like, times have changed. Show me forgiveness. Partnership, union, talking. So you're going to be forgiving somebody that you were talking to. I see that here. And that doesn't mean you're going to take this person back. But you do want to walk in love. Yeah, so there's going to be some type of meeting about this. This could even be a meeting with your family. Or whatever this, um, the, whoever these people are. This person, this family dynamic that's hurt you. This could be for some of you a significant other. And for some of you it could just be relatives, okay. But let's look into the tarot and see what the tarot is going to tell you about this situation. Let's see. What's going on? I'm sending you my love and light. I hope everything is going all right for you guys. I hope everybody's well. Let's see. And I hope you love our new setup. <laughs> we got to bring the new year in, right? You know what I'm saying, Aquarius. Thank you to all my Virgos that are here coming to page hop and making sure that we have a heartbeat over here. Thank you, guys. All right, Aquarius, let's go ahead and dive into the tarot and see what Spirit wants to tell you today. For Aquarius Spirit, what do they need to know about the energy surrounding them? I just saw the Four of Wands, so you're concerned about family matters. You're trying to use your intuition to stay calm. I feel like you're trying to trust the universe to give you... Oh, somebody's waiting patiently to come home. Or waiting patiently to, to something about the Ten of Pentacles. Somebody could be waiting patiently for money. But I feel like somebody's waiting patiently for this family dynamic or this problem with this family to be resolved. It could even be you having to be separated from your family. Um, and you're waiting for that to be over. Something happened to separate you guys. It's a lot of arguing. Somebody didn't make the best choice here. Secrets. Somebody could be secretly spying. Or somebody is studying. Hold on, let me see. Hold on. Oh, somebody is walking away emotionally. I feel like somebody somebody is keeping the secret that they are emotionally uninvested in this situation. And I feel like the page of swords talks about finding out something or things coming to light. I feel like you realize this, that a lot of these people in this family are phony. Like some of these people in this family are phony and you don't like that. You're just like, nope, it's all good. Like you're, you're, you're focusing on yourself. Yeah, I see a reconciliation coming. Somebody's going to be coming home. Um, but you're a bit guarded. Um, I see that you're working with the Queen of Pentacles. You could be working with the Queen of Pentacles here. Um, so this is somebody that is a nurturer, a mother figure, a mother-like figure. This could be a sister, anybody in your family that is positive that you work with. Somebody's been working with you and I'm feeling like I hear since day one. <laughs> since day one they've been here since day one all right so some of you are working with this person um the queen of pentacles could be a mother it could be a wife it could be anybody somebody that people go to for advice pregnant with ideas somebody that is an overseer she's gonna make sure everything is solid and taken care of okay so i feel like pretty soon you're gonna be reconciling with someone this family dynamic but you're a bit guarded i feel like you're relying on this king of um, queen of pentacles energy to help you through this um, because a lot of them are emotionally available, unavailable, or they walked away from the situation as, as far as, so let me take a breath. I'm trying to hurry up because you know we're timed on these videos. But what I'm trying to say is basically here with the secrets and the eight of cups, somebody secretly walked away from this 
situation with you. So you feel, you realize that some of these family members are phony. It's fake love. Like they don't really care. You feel like they don't really care about you. They don't care about your situation and all the love and emotions that you instilled in these people. You feel like it was for nothing. So you're like walking away and leaving it. Or you feel like that's how they did you. Like all of that was fake. Yeah. But I feel like you're spying. You're, you're getting to know about what's going on and everything. Um, and I feel like you realize this. The Page of Swords is somebody who seeks to see beneath the veil. So I feel like this could have been when you were younger. Or you could be a younger... Oh, this could be a younger Aquarius or a younger air sign. Feeling like I'm not going to invest my feelings into this family dynamic if they don't love me. Look, it's like, yeah, I'm going to be home, but I'm going to be guarded because I don't really feel comfortable with you guys. Some this um this Aquarius could be coming home for the holidays or being home from school and they realize that the family changed. Like people are fake. Somebody could be holding back money, time, investing, love, you know? And I feel like somebody realizes this. Mm. Yep. Tower. Why is the tower here? Hmm. Yeah, somebody is not working with a, their child's mother or something like that. So somebody could be coming home. This could be from prison or anywhere. Somebody could be coming home. Somebody could be in a halfway house or anything like that. But this person coming home realizes that these people are fake. They weren't there for them. Only one person was there for them. This person gave them money. They took care of them. Nobody else was there. This person feels like everybody else was phony, right? And this person is not dealing with fake love. So when this person comes home, they're feeling like they're not going to deal with these people. All right. And I feel like they want justice. They feel like they should have justice in this situation. Okay. She got some kind of bead. Oh, my God. I wish she'd be quiet. <laughs> That's my kitten. All right. So Queen of Cups and the Ten of Cups. I feel like your mother. This is a mother figure for someone. And you're happy with your mother. You love your mother. I feel like this mother figure is is what's keeping you going your mother's love somebody's mother is very loving and kind and very sweet here it could be a water sign this person could have water in their chart um also it could be an earth sign but i see you dealing with this person and this person keeps you going this person has been your strength while you've been away some of some of you this person is in prison or just coming out of prison hmm somebody's coming out of prison they're about to get released and they giving up on this, this family. <laughs> and so and so things change. Show me more. Yet what I tell you. Somebody is behind bars. And they coming home. And they realize that it's a tower. Because there's no justice here. I feel like it's a tower. They're going to end up coming home. But they're not going to be dealing with this family dynamic. Because these people are fake. Look solo. This person is going to be rolling solo. It's like I don't need them. Some of them. Some of you. Yeah, look at this. By their self. Look, again, this card is... These are my jail cards if somebody is in prison. All right? Somebody is in prison. And they see this. Somebody's reading letters. They, they're they looking at their letters. They're seeing, telling up how much people have been there for them. All right, this person did this. This person did that. This person did this. This person did that. They could be reading the letters, looking through, and they're, like, realizing, like, yeah, since I've been gone, you haven't been there. This is a very, like, this not going to be for everybody. For some of you, um, jail is nothing about jail. For some of you, it's just somebody that feels like their hands are tied because these people are fake, so they're defensive. All right? So that's what that could be. But either way, it's a family dynamic, and they're phony. They're hiding the fact that they're not really emotionally invested in, in, this per in you, Aquarius. You know? And so you're realizing that. Yeah. But the will is going to turn in your favor and stay focused. Keep doing what you're doing because eventually karma is going to come around and kick these people right in the butt because victory is going to be yours. All right. So keep your head up. Don't worry about it. Um, Spirit is saying keep continue to be focused. Continue to be diligent. Take your time and go ahead and make the decisions that you need to make. Just stay focused. Okay. Let's get you some advice, Aquarius. Let's see what Spirit wants you to know about this situation. Give Aquarius one card, please, Spirit. Let Aquarius know what they need to do in this situation with this family. Hush, sweetie. 
for this family. Fate. This is a destined partnership. So I feel like that means that it will work out eventually. And also, look, Aquarius, don't worry because you will get the apology that's due to you, okay? All right, let me get you one self-love affirmation card for Aquarius Spirit. Give Aquarius one self-love affirmation card for you. This is two. All right, Aquarius, so you have... I am safe in my arms. I care for myself like no one else, period. And this is what keeps you elevated and positive. Then we have Mira. This is going to help you elevate emotionally. This says, as within, so without, have compassion for yourself and others. Everything is an, a reflection. When we change, we change everything. So Spirit is basically telling you that you have the keys to change everything in this situation. Just believe in yourself. Take your time. And once you're able to, and it's time, divine timing will give you the opportunity to fix these things with these people, okay? All right, Aquarius, I love you. I'm sending you my love, light, and positive energy. Thank you so much for being here with me. And in the meantime, in between time, love on yourself, love on each other, and love on me in the comments. If you want a personal reading, my information is down below in the description box. I love you and I mean it. All right, bye, Aquarius.